Hello, anyone out there? Well, I made it to the actual site of the Horizon Zero Dawn project, and I'm still exploring and seeing what this place is all about. Uh, so, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, and here we go. Tower's down. Is there another route? I've done this before. Just need my focus. black hats and mockingbird back in the day i enjoyed schooling them but maybe i went in too hard on this poor counselor she was cute and just going down a checklist after all couldn't expect her to see how ridiculous zero d's ambitions are god's own budget thrown at a kid playing with a hologram sculptor palms up honey i'm just calling it like it is hey look mom i'm making nature now, if nature is so important, why not let nature take its course? Extinction? That's natural. Zero dawn? And no, ma'am, that ain't. Heck, it's so unnatural, it'd be called an abomination back home, and you know it. That's why you're hiding it. Meanwhile, my little honey of a counselor, she's munching the inside of her cheek. Bad habit. <laughs> she chewed one of her nails, too, just one. Not your day, was it, little sweet pea? Saw her quota slipping away. Said, I assume you intend to decline the assignment, Mr. Tate. <laughs> you kidding me? 18 months hard labor in exchange for 30 years lounging around Elysium watching porn? <laughs> Sign me up. Zero Dawn. He is art, in a way. An expression on the grandest scale. There is so much unfairness. Why was I chosen? Was it decided by committee? By algorithm? My family will be saved because I happen to graduate in art history? Is this right? Dr. Sube? Christina Sube? Yes. I met a man, another historian. His fields are Bauhaus and the new materialists. But he once attended one of my talks. Another unfair chance of all the many people in the auditorium that we should both be here now. And yet, I feel more accepting of my fate. No, it is not fair, not at all. But for the sake of my family, for the sake of art, art is alive. It must be able to speak from beyond history and echo in the future, not perish into oblivion. This opportunity. I must do this. I hashed it out with them. What the point of Artemis was. I made it clear I wasn't on board for a global zoo. We haven't exactly proved ourselves to be great custodians in the past few thousand years. So the idea of a reconstituted biosphere... Well, it's horrifying, isn't it? A complete horror show. We have no right to take a best guess at this stuff. But the alternative? Nothingness. For then it would have been all this, and then... Nothing. And with Charles Ronson running the show, I respect him. He's got a passion to him. He's hot-blooded. So I said I'll do it. I'll put my all into this, literally. When the project is done, I'll take the medical option, thank you. Counselor said I might change my mind. I told him that he didn't know me very well then. For life's sake, I'll do the dirty work. But I want no part of this pathetic, attenuated future on offer. I'm an outdoors man. Never did like the feel of solid state lighting on my skin. And a wee bit of a claustrophobe, anyway.
gun. I should check the door nearby. with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow, he managed to install an H-emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker out. Found one. Looks intact. That should do the trick. Now let's get that door open. First in the order, can still have his chance. Okay, now. down so That did it. Door should have power. Now to see what lies beyond it. Oh, the three. Eclipse. They're here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia, it's up there, second floor. Can you reach it? So much for avoiding contact.
right there. Mm -hmm. For a moment, anyway. Then get moving. You have to find Gaia. There's a whole lot of failure around here. Okay, so I'll recap that. 
something really good here. Hello, I'm Margot Shen, and this is Hephaestus. As the name might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. Her personal forge. Except, it's not that simple. Um, so like, you probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest, experts in machine cognition, virtual heuristics, that stuff. Well, that's because we aren't going to be the ones designing and building robots. The last thing we want is to burden Gaia with a bunch of outmoded 21st century designs. Waste of time. Our purpose is to empower Gaia to build the robots. And not just build, imagine, from scratch. Any robot she needs for any conceivable purpose, designed and fabricated at a snap of a finger. Hers. Her finger. So, Hephaestus isn't really the forge. It's more like the knowledge of craft and ingenuity of a master smith to wield the hammer. Encoded as software. Virtual creativity made real. Gaia's already learning. In simulations, she's doing some very creative things with fractal assembly and animal morphologies. Her designs aren't about to win the Liam Prize anytime soon, but hey, everyone has to start somewhere. So, yes, time to get started. Let's do this. I don't get it. Which part? It's a little technical at places. If Gaia was designed to save life, why would the robots it makes attack people? Perhaps it loves some forms of life more than others. The derangement. The machines weren't always so angry. True. Mostly they were docile until 10, 15 years ago. For years, Hephaestus has been forcing cauldrons to make aggressive machines. I've seen it myself, in the cauldrons. Stalkers, ravagers, the Thunderjaw. How could it, it do that? Up. And why? Why indeed. Seems like... I've seen these shapes before. In cauldrons. But of course. The briefing places of Gaia's machines. So it seems like... Hades had a function. I don't know what that would be. But it somehow got corrupted. This was the... I think this is it. Elizabeth Sobek's office. But it, it's sealed off. There's got to be a way inside. Keep looking. More eclipse. Careful now.
This will do. And wait, the door is okay. I'll ask again. Let's try this again. It looks like they will see me up here. Welcome to Apollo, the collective memory of the human species and the wellspring of knowledge for future generations. I am Samina Ebaji. Until recently, I was director of the International Collective Memory Institute in New Tehran. As a heritage professional, I devoted my career to the preservation of human knowledge, creative endeavor, and cultural achievement. Apollo is, therefore, the ultimate embodiment of a lifelong passion, albeit under the very worst circumstances imaginable. The challenges before us are immense. Specifically, we will have to design and implement four major initiatives simultaneously. First, the construction of data repositories in cradle facilities around the world ensuring redundancy. Second, the collection and processing of a projected 180 million discrete data entries. 42 zettabytes of data in Mandarin, English, Spanish and Arabic. Third, the transferal and encoding of all that data onto DNA encapsulated in synthetic fossils. The only medium capacious and durable enough to safeguard it without degradation for the centuries to come. And last, but not least, the development of the holographic interface and gamified curricula, by which future humans will commune with Apollo, progressively unlocking heuristic learning modules leveling up their knowledge and skills they will need to take control of the terraforming system. That is the future towards which all of our efforts will be directed. Not just the preservation of the past, but the seed for the flourishing of a new tree of knowledge. Welcome, and let us begin. Really something. Did you got anything better to do? They'll sure get their attention. This 
right over Latest? here. How about the fact we exist at all? To abide in ignorance is a curse, Aloy. You of all people should know that. Looks with me. Only equipping works. They could have destroyed the whole like facility. It was just like the day the modules or whatever. Dr. Sobek, please archive this testimonial in Apollo. Cross reference to all mentions of my name and Operation Enduring Victory. My name is General Aaron Harris. From 2060 to 2066, I served as the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the highest ranked officer of the United States Armed Forces. The tenure of my command included strategic planning and oversight of Operation Enduring Victory, a falsehood perpetrated on the civilian populations of the United States and other nations during the last 14 months of life on this planet. Before the Pharaoh Plague, I did my job and did it well. I was bold and decisive, crafty in political maneuvers. It wasn't an accident that I rose to my position and became the commander of the largest mechanized force ever assembled. But to what end? My only lasting achievement was the extinction of life on Earth. And my one redeeming act, if any, was to delay that extinction by days or weeks, by throwing more death at it. It is my hope that there will be no need for men like me in the world to come. If you are one of the people of that future world listening to this message, please note that I am sorry and that I wish you well. Sincerely, Aaron Harris.
Welcome to Hades. Zero Dawn's extinction failsafe protocol. The ultimate killer app. Now, I know what you're thinking. The purpose of Gaia is to resurrect life. So why give her a subordinate function, only purpose of which is to wipe out life all over again? I mean, <laughs> what the... what? Just plumb crazy, ain't it? Well, no, it isn't. Reconstituting a biosphere? That's a tall order. Tech smart as Gaia may be, odds are she won't get it right the first time. I mean, imagine you're Gaia 200 years from now and this new biosphere growing, it's all gone wrong. Alkalines are skyrocketing, coniferous forests eroding under the lash of superstorms that would have drowned Noah. It's chaos, spinning top that won't stop wobbling. Now, what are you gonna do? Release phase one organisms into that hot mess? Hope their CO2 and methane can balance out what you got started? Hell no. What you're gonna do, Gaia, is step aside while Hades takes over and does what you're just too darn nurturing and life-loving to do. Which is burn that misbegotten mess of a biosphere to the ground so Gaia can start over. Okay, not burn, more like reverse terraforming operations and suffocate it. But... You get the idea. Hades takes the biosphere back to zero. Square one, blank slate. And then, only then, does it hand the steering wheel back to Gaia and say, try again, old girl. And better this time, or we'll have to do this again. That's Hades. It's pretty badass when you think about it. Extinction on demand. Death on speed dial. All for the greater good, of course, but still, kind of metal. So welcome to Hades. Welcome to the Void. Okay, so if that's the original purpose of Hades, why does it want me extinct? We need more data. And how does it end up in the wreckage of a Pharaoh Titan, getting worshipped by the Eclipse like some kind of god? I'm learning as you are, Aloy. That's true. Keep searching. Very good questions. Alright, gonna end it there for now. That's another backstory lore heavy video with a lot of video uh, voice logs. Uh, but it probably makes for good background noise if you have it playing. <laughs> uh, so if you enjoyed the video for whatever reason, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Discord and socials in the description. TikTok and Instagram are just clips of my streams and videos already on YouTube. And if you like and share it there, it'll really help me out. Also, turn on notifications when you subscribe to know when the next video is out and see what happens next. Okay, hope to catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!